How's it going, everyone? I wanted to review this, the uh, Scepter gas can. Um, it's actually a five-gallon one, so it's probably my biggest. Uh, the reason why I got this, I got my smaller two-gallon, I believe. But I want a five-gallon because I found non-ethanol um, where I go snowboarding. So I'm going to take this, fill up. It's 91 octane. Uh, very difficult to find in my area. The uh, non-ethanol. So I'm going to put that in here. And I'm actually going to take. I'll make a video on it. But I'm going to remove the one year old uh, gas. Out of my Honda Snowblower. And uh, put the non-ethanol. And I'm actually going to treat it with Startron. Because I had good success with Startron. But this. Um, this. Looks like a good, uh, you know, scepter, it's called. Um, I paid $24.99 for it. Uh, I did a few modifications. I'll talk about that in this video and what I'm going to use, too, for the spout. Just because I don't like this new, uh, with the uh, government regulations on these spouts. But I'll show you uh, what I did so far. So on this, I actually took this out i don't like this at all so this it came with a kind of a filter condom thing and this was really in there so what i did was i used a small you know flat screwdriver and i got on one side i kind of just you know pried it and eventually i got it and i was able to gain access to it and i took these locking pliers and just ripped it out um, I just don't want this because, I mean, it is a filter, but when you, um, go to, like, a gas pump, it's gonna take forever to fill up, so I'd rather not have that, um, with this, and, uh, another modification I'm gonna do to this, um, gas tank is I'm actually gonna take this off the spout, just because I don't like how it pours, you have to do two motions, you have to push this and then push like that and it's gonna be heavy you know holding it so what i did i bought this for about um this was about 8.99 on ebay easy pour i believe they have them in tractor supply as well um it's called easy pour standard 8.99 which is cheap so i'm just gonna replace that the spout it's not my favorite I kind of like the cap though. It has like a cap and you can kind of put it like this to the side. But I'm not going to really use this just because it's a pain, you know, with the spring and everything to do that. So I'm taking that off and I'm going to put this, a spout like this and you can just screw it on. And with the scepter cans, the yellow one's good. Uh, it actually comes with, on the easy pour, it comes with another one but this doesn't go all the way down uh the yellow one works great and uh i can have way more of an extension look at that compared and i can uh you know easily just put it in it's not gonna leak or anything either and um let me see here this actually comes with a filter which is nice too you can see there's a filter down here so when you're pouring it into you know, a snowblower or something, it's going to filter out things. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, so those are my two modifications I am going to do to this gas tank. And uh, I just don't really like the spout on it. Uh, this also came with the easy spout, which if you want to use it, you can. Uh, it's like a ventilation. And all you have to do, I've seen a lot of videos on this. You just... Uh, drill a hole and put this on the top and uh, I see some kind of leak after a while so you got to be careful you can put some kind of silicone all over it it has to be higher than the max level though but I figured I'm going to go you know from high um, octane um, or high premium octane to non-ethanol because I found non-ethanol and I just labeled it here non-ethanol um, I'm just going to keep this kind of for my snowblower um, my lawnmower I'll probably use too 
just for this. And uh, yeah, so I have I've had really good luck with this though, the Easy Pour. Um, very great product. I use it on my two gallons, so I was happy to find this. And uh, this was a pain in the ass to, to put it through the uh, right here. There's like a string just to hold the cap when you're uh, you know pouring. This holds it in place. It's kind of like a zip tie in a way, but yeah, so it should should be a lot easier, especially if you're like pouring gas in your car or something. Um, but you got a way longer reach. You can see that compared to what you have there and uh, just so much easier. This you can kind of rest on a, on something, but it's going to be heavy with five gallons of gas gasoline. But. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll have an updated video on uh, me draining out the uh, Honda snowblower that I have and putting non-ethanol fuel in it and uh, keep it keep it like that. We we haven't had much snow in this year, and I don't want the gas to go bad. So um, non-ethanol is the way to go, and I found a gas station that has it for like $4.20 per gallon instead of uh, paying the the really expensive like true fuel where, where it's like thirty dollars per gallon all right thanks guys for watching hope you enjoy this video uh likes much appreciative and uh take care thanks